Amber? <laughs> Why do you occupy? I occupy <laughs> because, in all seriousness, although a lot of people think I'm a comedian, in all seriousness, the way that the system is set up and the way that the system has been set up it is is not working for us. I would love to use a lot of swear words, but I'm going to try and keep it polite. It's not working for us, and it's not going to work, unfortunately. And I'm, it's just there's so many wrong things that are going on in the greater good of all these systems that all the different governments are trying to put in place for us from everything from the homeless to the health system to the unemployed to the employed to everything to where we're getting our stuff from to the people supplying the stuff you know you can't buy a leather jacket or or, or an iPhone without knowing that it's come from some poor person who's made it for us and, and they're you know stuck in slave labor for example one of the many examples as to why things just aren't working and yeah next question Lily uh, the next question is um, what what do you expect um, occupy to change or what do you hope occupy to change and are those two different things <laughs> they are two different things. What I expect Occupy to change, sometimes when I look at it in the bigger picture, not a fucking lot, I'm sorry to say it, but what I like Occupy to change is a hell of a lot of things. But if, for that to happen, we all need to unite and put our little picture differences aside and think about the bigger picture. I can understand that some people will find that hard to do because they haven't had the life experiences or been in the situations to understand why the system needs to change and because for now the systems work for them and that's great and I'm happy for them but when you want your kids and you want a house and you want to start taking the next steps to get up to the next level you're gonna find it difficult because the help and all the rest of it aren't there and I am part of Occupy to try and help other people and make them aware of it and then to give them support and ideas and and just 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 be someone who's real and knows what's going on and can can pass that on and help people next question Shit. i know right um all right um movement is such a world global thing and it, it can't be it can't not have things come out of it um, it needs it will evolve and that's what's great about movements in the whole is because they bring on bring on evolvement whether that be something that comes out of it whether that be the Occupy movement itself whatever comes out of it and whatever ideas are born of the movement then they're fantastic, you know. I I am part of the Occupy movement, but I already see myself branching off into other areas. But it is because of Occupy, the movement, that has made me have these ideas, which is which is what it's about. So so I will be one, and I will be all of different movements of what shit I think are going to help make this world the world we need it to be so that everybody can live together in harmony and and right now where we are we're at ground zero man we've got so much building to do and it's good and it's good that the rest of the world and on the global scale of Occupy I feel it is more ahead of us and we're we're behind in a way at Sydney but that's only because Australia hasn't 
had to deal with the things that America's had to deal with, that Brazil's had to deal with, that all these other countries have had to deal with. And and God bless it when it when it happens in Australia, and it will. I'm sorry, but it, it is going to happen. Then I would like. I'm just. I would like to be able to share all the things that I've learned from Occupy and the different pathways that it's led me down and the different things I've been able to give to the different pathways and Occupy. Any more questions? Can I ask one more? Yeah. Um, it's a bit of a multifaceted question. What fuck sister they all have been? <laughs> okay. Um, do you believe that um, humans as a race, you know, as a as a global population, can live in harmony with each other. Um, and what needs to change for that to happen, in your eyes? And what do you say to the people who say it's just human nature for people to like, you know, scrabble over each other to get on top? Okay, you got three points there. The first one. Um, the first one kind of leads to the third question. I would love to think that humans can live all together. The problem is, is that for generations upon generations upon generations upon generations, we have been sort of conditioned to think this way and to do this way and to do that way. Just like a, diff a whole bunch of different societies around the world have been done. You know, you look at how tribal societies live, or how Asian societies live, or how Russian societies live, and we've all kind of got these, the 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 same sort of Ten Commandments, but different points, I guess, have been held on stronger and different ethics and 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 things like that. I would love to live in the dream and the hope that we can all live together. Unfortunately, because of the way we are conditioned as human beings, from our parents, grandparents, um, it's going to take a long time for that to happen. And it's going to take a, a lot of people to be on the same sort of wavelength for that to happen. And the more of us who communicate and, and start building communities and start talking and, and get beyond our little tiny differences, to the to the bigger uniting things then yeah we can and uh, your your middle question I've kind of forgotten what was that one did, did I answer it to an extent what, yeah. Yeah, good what needs to change see you man yeah. what needs to change <laughs> you have answered that yeah but is I, there anything a, you'd like to add to point out like a reference point yeah there's yeah. a lot that needs to change um, we need to we need to walk with our heads held up. We need to make eye contact with people. We need to say good morning in the morning. We need to to not to actually when someone says hey how are you to not to, to be actually meaning that question like how are you not uh, good man yeah I'm cool yeah good but really at the end of the day inside you're not good. You we all just need to be straight up. You know, not be afraid that we're going to get judged, that we're going to get this and we're going to get that for being ourselves. You know, that is, I think that's one of the hardest things you can do. And once, you know, you can do that, then you can also see the uniting in another human being. You know, if you can accept who you are, then you can start accepting other people. And you can't, I don't know, you can't judge people, you can't. And if you do judge, you need to ask why you're judging and, and what that is setting off. There's a lot of work that needs to be done to be able to make us whole. Like I said, we're at ground zero, you know, we need we need uniting this. We need to put our differences aside. We need to say goodbye to the past and say hello to the future. You know, we need to understand what we're up against in the bigger picture of things. Does our, our, does our relationship with the Earth come into the yeah, as well? totally. Yes, you raise a fucking very, very important, important. I mean, to sum it up as quick as I can, you need to be able to put your feet on the ground. You know, rub your your feet in the soil and know that we are as geeky and, and and spiritual and hippie and all the rest of it as it sounds. We need to understand that we are one. We have the same pulse as the earth. We are all united. We're we're all living. 
and if we're all living we're all interconnected and and as much as <laughs> I don't even want that sometimes I'd love to for anarchy and, and chaos and all the rest of it but it's not it's not the way to make <laughs> advances to the future so yeah we need to be good to our soil we need to be good to our earth we need to be good to this massive provider that we're all living on you know I don't know if it, it just a simple example when they're taking all the oil out of the ground is there anything that's going back in is there anything replacing that big hole that they're taking out think of it as simple it's just so simple it's a bubble right you're emptying the stuff that's inside the bubble what's gonna happen you know you're taking away the stuff that the earth has got why has it got it there it needs it there you know ah there's so many things and that's just one example of, of something that that irks me you know you look back in Australia the coal system the gas system Monsanto so many things are, uh, are being destroyed by the by the big people the higher power whatever you want to call them we're, we're they don't care about us we're a number you look at your employment slip you're a number honey you're you're a number you're not a name you're not a person you're nothing you're a number and that's the way they want it I don't, I don't know about you but I ain't no number I'm Pamela Marie Wallace I'm a being I'm somebody and I I fucking give a shit I'm sorry but I do there you go thank you <laughs> you're welcome